I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm working through a series where I'm showing you how to play the broken chords according to the ABRSM piano syllabus. And we're looking at grade two broken chord in E minor. Now every broken chord is built up of from the first, the third, and the fifth note of the scale. And so if it is that you want to look up and check out how to play and how to construct that scale of E minor. I've shown you how to play all of these scales. If you go to the scales playlist, you can see in the links in the cards in the top right and also in the video description, you can access those tutorials there. There's also a dedicated page to my YouTube video tutorials on my website. If you go to SharonBill.com, you can access it that way too. Also on that website, you can access some free PDF downloads that you can um, find in A4 or US letter where I itemise into a scales box, like a pattern where you can work through all the scales, broken chords and arpeggios appropriate to each ABRSM grade. So there's lots there to help you. So let's crack on with the broken chord of E minor. So the first note of this scale is E. The third note of the scale is G and the fifth note of the scale is B. And so that is the chord or triad of E minor. And so the broken chord means we're just going to break that up and play with individual notes. Now for grade two, we need to extend to complete the octave. So we'll only be using notes E, G or B and we'll just extend to complete the octave, but we're going to change by alternating the bass note, so E in the bass, then G in the bass, then B in the bass, and so forth. I've um, popped up a little picture on screen to show you the notes that we'll actually be playing. Now in the right hand, the fingering pattern, just so that you can be secure on these notes, one, two, and five are always used, and then we alternate going from three to four, four, then three. I'll show you slowly how that looks on the piano. So just using notes E, G, and B, we start with E, G, B, E, finger three is on the B, and now we move to G in the bottom of the broken chord, G, B, G, so finger four is now on the E. Now B is in the bass. E, G, B, finger four is on G. And then we're back home to E. G, B, E, back to finger three on the B. And then we reverse that process coming back down. So E, B, G, E, still three on the B. Now we move to our little finger, the top note is B, G, E, B, finger four is on that G. Now we move to little finger on the G, bringing down the pattern, E, B, G, so finger four is on that E. And now we're back home, little finger on the E, all the way down the octave to bottom E with finger three back on the B. So if you just remember three, four, four, three, using notes E, G and B, rotating round the bass notes. Let's have another look at that. E, G, B, E, using three. G, B, E, G, using four. B, E, G, B, using four again, and then home to the E, G, B, E, using three on the B. Back we come, three on the B, now four on the G, four on the E, three on the B. 
takes a little bit of practice, but once you've uh, figured that out, just give it a little bit of time and repetition. And then you can first of all start by thinking in twos. And then when you really feel like you've got it flowing, think in fours, just to give it a little bit of musical direction. <laughs> It's quite a nice feeling under your fingers. It's quite a pretty little pattern, just requires a little bit of practice. And now let's look at the left hand. So of course we're going to be playing exactly the same note. We can only be using notes E, G, B and extending the octave. We're going to alternate which note comes in the bass and which note comes in the top. We're going to rearrange that pattern. But now the fingering pattern, apart from one, two and five, as you ascend, if you remember four, four, three, four, and then of course to return back down, it will be four, three, four, four. Let's look at that slowly. So E, G, B, finishing your octave on E, four on the G, now G is in the bass, four is on the B, E, G, now B is in the bass, three on the E, in the bass back to four on G. So return back down, four is on the G still, now B is our top note, three is on the E, G is our top note, four on the B, E is our top note, four on the G. There is an option to change that finger four to three at times, however I find it easier to remember. So if you just remember four, four, three, four, I think that's the simplest way. Let's have one more look at that. E, G, B, E, four on the G, now four on the B, now three on the E, four on the G reverse back down, still four on the G, three on the E, four on the B, four on the G. It takes a little bit of practice and repetition. By all means press pause, have a little go and then go back and try again. Just keep re-accessing into this video tutorial. And then when you feel like you've got it flowing a bit more fluently, you can first of all think in twos, but then afterwards think in fours, and that will help it flow along more fluidly. And there you go. I hope that's been helpful to you. If you can subscribe to my channel, there's loads more I've got in store for you. Give me a like, that would be really, really encouraging to me. That'd be great. Please do access those scales playlists. Have a look in the links in the cards and also in the video description. And please do go to SharonBill.com. There's absolutely tons there. There's loads of resources to help you on your musical journey. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.